At the day's hearing, counsel to Amudu Sharif asked the Supreme Court not to hear the appeal because it was not properly filed. He argued that this was because the PDP, as led by Sharif, did not give anyone the permission to file a suit on his behalf, and as such, the suit filed by McAfee is null and void. On his part, counsel to McAfee urged the court to disregard the argument because, according to him, the issues raised by Sheriff's counsel were already in substantive suit before the court, and since issues have been joined, there was no need to listen to anybody who was not part of the suit. Counsel to both parties comments. The McAfee faction is an unknown body for purposes of the appeal that was filed in this case. If the McCarthy uh, uh, factor, I mean the faction, feels strongly about appealing, they can take out appeal in their name. Nobody is saying they cannot do so, but you cannot use the party. Once you have a decision by the court, it takes effect immediately. I mean, it's like somebody uses your name to file a suit in court, and you get to know, do you keep quiet and say, oh, let him continue? The motion was already overtaken by events. The, the respondents have filed their own brief, so there was no need for us to be asking for the appeal to be heard on our brief. After listening to both parties, the court adjourned to hear the objections as an interlocutory appeal on May 25th, 2017. The McAfee-led National Critical Committee of the party had on March 16 approached the Supreme Court asking it to overturn the judgment of the Court of Appeal in Port Harcourt, River State, on February 27, which declared Sheriff as the legitimate national chairman of the party. But Sheriff filed his application five days later, arguing that McAfee had no legal grounds for his appeal. A Fosa Wangwe reporting.